hardest part about about going on a mission trip like that is when you get home you feel so small like you wake up every day wanting to go back and you can't quit thinking about it and um, so it was really amazing and, and really I'm just kind of as soon as I left I was ready for the next one so it was really incredible it definitely changed my life and anyone who cares enough that people can't hear and it doesn't matter who it is and they say listen let us help you it's, it's interesting to be around big thinkers and they think big you know, and what's more important is that amongst all this bigness, they have this level of detail to, that manages to keep everything really personal. It's about the kids, the kids who all through all over the world that Starkey helps, and it's just like a big party, and yet you're raising money, and yet you have to continue to give out hearing aids. You have to keep on working. Once this is over tonight, you got to keep on doing it. You know, you think that every single time you hear it, it it's not a special, but it, it is. Every single time you see it, um, no matter where you are, it, it's a really a special moment and something I, I continue to want to keep doing it. With a big team, we can make a difference. No one can do much alone, but we've got a lot of people on board that, you know, share the same values, and that's what's important is to get the team going. I'm in awe of what Starkey does in helping the world to hear. And, um, and Bill, I think uh, you're a testament to how great American business can be and how great America can be. And a lot of what we do at Pentair is emulating that. Bill and Tanny, you and Starkey Hearing Foundation are the embodiment of that wonderful quote that Henry Winkle always says to me when I see him, if you will it, it is not a dream. So, I'm going to keep on dreaming, and I'm going to keep on watching dreams come true for the children of Starkey, and I'm going to keep on making noise loud and clear about it. And lastly, silence is the last thing the world will ever hear from me, and I trust it will be the same for you. This, this one of those things, just those moments that just move you. And I'm staring at this mother thinking for the first time she's seeing her baby here and just, I'm just trying to process what she was experiencing at that time. And it was just a magic moment. The boy's laughing, mom's crying, Marilyn's laughing and crying. Uh, there were tears everywhere. But Bill, Tanny, that was the moment. I knew exactly what your foundation was about. To Bill, to Tanny, to Marley and Doug and Randy and all the rest of you, thank you for believing that. And thanking you for, in this year when I, as the oldest of the baby boomers, qualify for Social Security. God, I hate that. <laughs> you have made me believe in the promise of tomorrow more than ever before because there are people like you who know we have to answer that how question. on a plane or in your car, so tell me why. So it's about being sensitive but also getting a good result so that they can hear as much as they possibly can. You love it? He's sitting in his daddy's lounge He 
smiles and laughs and covers his head in a St. Jude ball cap. The team that we brought with us were a bunch of rock stars from the NFL who came to see firsthand what our foundation's doing in Uganda and Rwanda. I can't compare it to any type of football game I've been in. The game that I love with all my heart and I've been playing since I was crawling. I love every minute of it.